Who are you? What makes a personality? And does it have a certain fate? Here is the answer theory you never heard before. There is a fundamental effect of external dramaturgical potential on our reality that comes from realms we cannot experience directly. It is limited in our 3D world to operate only through stories. Stories about you and me and everybody else. Such constants as gravity and speed of light limit other dimensional worlds through nature and its effect on us, packing it into an easy consumable by our brain segments, called stories, doing it through our body that in this case is a biological perception machine that observes space-time in the process of unfolding entropy. These stories with the capsule of main character and its way to the goal, viewed by a side observer, are called dramaturgy. And every story in the world, no matter is it small or big, possesses certain dramaturgical potential. Looking into the sets of dramaturgical potential types, we can come to conclusion that there is no you as a separate from the general story of life being. You are a chemical machine of maximum complexity, existing only because the fundamental laws of nature work that way, no matter what we think about it. World is determined like a Turing machine, computing our reality with the speed of one Planck's time per step. These clicks are invisible for a side viewer, like a separate slides in a movie are invisible because shown with 25 slides per second rate. But nevertheless, the quantum steps of reality cannot be broken in smaller bits. Because there is no less than one Planck's time long sequence possible to perform or detect any changes in any system. So there are quantum capsules for story transmission and radiation in space time. And they are called atoms of space in the way first introduced by Steven Wolfram. You can check the link to a video about atoms of space and how they are quantum bits of stories of our lives. If the world is a Turing machine with a certain computational rules in it, it should mean that the fate of a person is determined. determined too, and there is an exact step of reality that will happen in future, and you cannot change it. Seems correct, but not exactly. In accordance with an irreducible computational theory of Dr. Stephen Wolfram, future cannot be predicted 100%, and the only way to find out what really happens is to get to that computational step of now personally. For now, there is no any kind of formula that can predict the exact spatial arrangement of all elements of reality in the upcoming future. Laws of physics and logics shows us that if we have a speed and time, we can detect and predict changes in the location of the object, like predicting the position of the moon in the sky tomorrow or in 100 years. This perception is natural for humans for thousand years. But that doesn't work in a quantum dramaturgical realm. One can never exactly know the outcome of the future. It cannot be done using any formula or any rule to find out what will be the exact computational data of future moment, where our atoms will be and what they will do. The only way to find out is to live through your life step by step, following the natural flow of now moment of Turing machine of reality, till you get the step in the future that you wanted to predict. So we can answer the first question. Yes, there is a fate. But you will never know exactly what is yours. The only way is to personally experience it. What you can do is affect it. You personally, you as a unique combination of shared globally stereotypes, have a personal point of view, making you a God machine. Here God stands for generator of dramaturgy. So you as a god experience dramaturgy and radiate new unique effect on reality based on your unique experience. That your effect on reality and the feedback effect of reality on you is viewed through stories that affect you in a good or a bad way, so you can relate to them. You have a certain domain set of goals driven by unique stereotypes combination that makes your personality, that tells you what is good and bad, and affects the level of satisfaction from getting to a certain upcoming goal in those terms. 
More money for your family is good. Some jerk that took your parking spot is bad. And so on. Things change when you are the jerk who took the parking spot of some poor guy. In this case, you are good, for sure. The fragile illusion of personality and identity comes as a need. It is only an interface of all that exists under this layer and uses that interface to view and conduct a story. Story that works in the conditions of 3D world, that has a strict fundamental constants, that regulate rules inside this demo version reality of a real, full domain reality we can percept because we don't have those tools and thinking. We are inside of this world and it is not possible to think about real outside. Because all thoughts will be a product of this reality, where you are now as a source of it. Schopenhauer thought a lot about will as of starting primal cause of everything. Dramaturgical perception of reality adds, yes, personal will of consciousness is primal, but just a will by itself without a hero with a certain goal, same as without an observer of hero's way, is pointless and not realistic. Abstract. True willpower of entity comes only in a capsule of dramaturgy, as I call it a hero way goal capsule. In philosophical sense, there is no point to operate with a part of that capsule, as there is no point to operate with only one letter that is a part of a whole word, because a letter in a word doesn't explain its meaning. Now let's decompose the screaming statement there is no I. It feels unnatural if you try to imagine that there is no I, because you feel yourself and you constantly feel and see reality in real time. So you have evidence at any given moment that you exist, affect reality and have a certain border of what you can do and what you cannot. But speaking about the origin of your feelings in the terms of a set theory gives us absolutely new perspective. We can speculate that there are no identities and separate people. There are types of identities, like bad mother, skater, American, carpenter, or a crybaby that comes in one set, suitable for a certain number of people. So all crybabies have a united quantum entangled core of the fact crybaby and the set of possible outcomes for every crybaby. The real world around all crybabies creates their unique way and experience, so those crybabies don't look identical, but the core description of a crybaby is listed in the same set of all crybabies in the world. They just differ in the smallest details that unfold in time in different locations. Quick thought experiment checkup shows that 100 identical crybabies put in the same conditions of vacuum of space don't differ from each other much. And now how about you? Are you a crybaby? I believe not. You are thousands and thousands of core types of different people. Mother, friends, stranger in a park, whole bunch of stereotypes that are same kind for everyone, but combined in a certain proportion in time. They are called personality. That's why you might be a 34-year-old white guy from Alabama, a carpenter with two kids and a king for a sport cards, drinking beer and having fantasies about winning $1 million in local lottery and finally f***ing neighbor's wife. This is a description of a very exact person, but it is easy to believe you can find more than 100 people alive who fit this description 100%. Does it make them a same person on this level? Well, yes in a certain kind of dramaturgical potential proportion. Strange enough, these 100 chats from Alabama are more likely to act the same in same conditions. Let's say all of them would love to make a wooden wedding bench for their friend's ceremony. Or they all hate Greta Thunberg. Or all of them have a beer belly and will die if they will have to run really, really fast for their lives. Let's say if a crazy dog chases each of them on the open ground. Question is, uh, can you ride fast? Fuck you! Next question! Yeah, hi, can you ride fast? Fuck you! Tomorrow I will ride incredibly fast! In millions and millions of ways, those guys are the same one guy. They act almost the same in similar conditions. So we come to a conclusion. Personality is just a set of dramaturgical states that are being updated every moment of reality. 
And all you have to do to see where your eye is hidden is to look further and further into a unique combination of human stereotype states, over each base layer of subtype till the peak, with only your unique life story details, till you find a unique group of dramaturgical potentials that only you possess. Your identity, fate, soul are possible to detect in a quantum dramaturgical realm only at the point you finally got unique combination of stereotypes that create exactly you and your unique reaction to every moment of now. Congrats! That is you, finally! First unique dramaturgical potential set on top of a hundred thousands of shared ones. As for this moment, watching this video is you, American, carpenter, man, and so on till the last description shared with someone until the moment of plus one unique description that comes. Carpenter from Alabama who bakes bird-shaped cakes or who speaks Chinese. Only those carpenters can be identified by an observer as a unique. When you see them all together having a beer on a carpenter festival, they are basically all the same person. If some story starts, each of them will act similar till some point. Why it is nice to know all that? It is a sort of a developer mode of reality, like all quantum world is. If you get used to it, you will see things you never saw before. You can use quantum dramaturgy as a self-psychological diagnosis method, or as a philosophical key to understand what was hidden. For a more deep personal journey of discoveries in a quantum dramaturgical realm, just google quantum dramaturgy to download for free my latest book Physics of Important Things or follow the link in descriptions. I can guarantee you will get tons of info you never knew before. Also follow my channel and subscribe to see more quantum dramaturgical videos about nature of our reality and your role as a creator and observer.